Okay, we're going to create this valve handwheel on the side here. I'm going to move this to my other screen. Make sure I don't have anything in session. Create my new part. According to the project that this is for, the part should be named 62400-06. And I'll hit OK. So now, I'm going to start this thing with a revolve. And because of the shape of it, I'm going to try to include the outside and the hub in the same sketch. So I'll create a revolve on my side plane. And from here, I'm going to add the center line across the side and then begin to create the hub, which is just going to be a rectangle originally before I add a couple little features to it. And then to center it, I'm going to add a point to the bottom line because I'm actually going to end up trimming the top line. And I'm going to hover over till I see that little M pop up for midpoint. And then I'll say that that midpoint is coincident with the center line. Okay, so the nice thing about that is if I modify this thing now, it stays centered about the middle. The other thing I need is a circle up at the top here. And then the sub actually also has a circle right here. Which I'm going to try my best to not make it the same size as the other one, but it looks like it's going to keep snapping for me. I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'll create that. Now I can go ahead and trim to make this section. Look how it actually looks. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then also get rid of the center portion there. <coughs> so now that I have the shape, you can draw a big box around everything. Hold, right click, modify. Modify, and I'll lock the scale. And I'll shrink this top piece down to 1.125, which is the diameter. Hit OK, and hit OK again. Now I'm acting a lot closer to the size that I need. So from here, I can add those other dimensions. So some of the dimensions I'll need, I'll need a diameter of the inside of the hub. I'll need a diameter of the outside of the hub. I'll get rid of that little 0.546 I had. Um, I'll need a radius of that diameter right there. I'll need a width, which I have right here. And I'll need a diameter for where the outside of this is. I'll just pick the center, then the center line, then the center again, and middle click. So that's going to be 10. So this guy is in good shape. I like to move my dimensions around so I can see a little better. The inside, based on my drawing here, is 1.125. The width is 1.75, and the outside diameter is 2.25. Now the only thing I have left is this radius here, which is 0.625. All right. So now when I hit the checkbox, I end up with a little hub in the middle and the outside ring as well. <coughs> Okay, that looks pretty good. So from here, what I'm going to do is I need to create my spokes. And as you can see from this drawing here, it's kind of a little elliptical piece there. So what I need to do is I need to offset a 
plane to create a little extrusion to fill that in. Probably the easiest way to do it. So I'll pick extrude. I'll go to model and create a plane inside of my extrude. I'm going to pick this line here, or pick this datum here. And I'm going to say that I want to go negative 2.5 because I want this to offset down. As long as I'm anywhere in between here, this is going to work out just fine. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now I'll go back to extrude up here at the top. And it'll begin my extrude on that face. So I can create this with a couple different types of ellipses. Ellipses. I'll try the center axis ellipse, which is the one you'll get once you hit the little arrow down. That allows me to create a center. And then blow out the sides and then the other sides. I'll do that one more time just so it's easy to follow. So center and axis ellipse, I click the center and move out to around where I think it needs to go. And then I click and then I move up to create the height and I click again. And I'll end up with two dimensions, which is good, because that's what I need. This width is going to be 1.125. Height's going to be 0.625. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now, here's where that offset works out well. I can change my offset to be through to next in one direction, which will make it line up until it hits something else. I can do the same in the other direction by hitting this options. You can see it offsets all the way down there. Hit my checkbox. <clears throat> and I have a nice spoke. Then what I can do is I can either add my radii in now or I can pattern it and add them in after. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as I make a point to apply it to the original instance here. <laughs> the bell goes off in the middle of this. So we're going to add a radius down here, 0.25, and hold control. And I'm going to add the radii up here. And it's not going to like that one, really. It's not going to like that one either. So why don't I just put this one in first. Then I'll create another around. I can see it's not going to like that one either. I don't think it's going to let me put it in. Which is fine. I have ways around that. So I'll get rid of it. And instead what I'll do is I'll drag this up before the extrude. I'll add a few rounds in. That's 0.25. And then I'll drag my little insert guy back down below my extrude. You can see it's still pretty happy with that. And then I can drag that down to the next round as well. Maybe I'll do a little test to see if this will go in now. Looks like it will. So I'll place those in. I'll hit save. And now I can go ahead and pattern these. So I'm going to right click my extrude. I'm going to pattern it. I'm going to switch to an axis pattern, and I'm going to pick my axis. I'm going to change the total to 5, and I'm going to switch this little angle to equally space them around 360. Hit the checkbox. Looks pretty happy. And then I'll do the same with my round and pattern it. And because it references a pattern feature, it gives me a reference pattern. And when I pattern it around, I end up with what I expect this to look like. Now the only thing I'm missing is a key at the bottom of this hub. So in order to put that key in, I'm going to create an extrude. I'll create it on the front plane. And then what I'll do is I will create a rectangle. Let's cross here and down. Center it like I did with the hub by getting a midpoint and then making it coincident with the center line. And according to this, 
my key is 3 eighths by 3 sixteenths. So in this direction it is 3 sixteenths, which is 0.188. And then for the 3 eighths, I need to go in and go in dimension between my circle and my line. <clears throat> and I actually did that backwards. This one's going to be 3 sixteenths. This one's going to be 3 eighths. So that'll give me the size I want. I can hit OK, make it a cut, and then for options, make it go through all in both directions. When I hit OK, I've finished my hub. So I'll save, and I'm done.